Andrea Newburn here today to talk to you about the bare necessities that you will need to start playing ukulele and also I'd like to talk about some optional items that make playing ukulele a little bit easier and more convenient as well. So the first thing that you're going to need to start learning to play the ukulele is actually an ukulele and this is the first one that I purchased when I first started and it's a, uh, made by Macala. I got it from a local music store in Brevard County, Florida, and it's a really great choice for an entry-level player because it's very affordable and it comes in a lot of different colors and you can even choose um, between a shark or a dolphin. I chose a shark because I like that best. And um, it's just a very good price and it stays in tune very well and very easy to play. Um, the action, which is the space between the uh, neck fretboard and the strings is very low so it's not as painful to start learning chords on and I think it's a really great um, choice for an entry-level player. The second thing that you're going to need when you are starting to learn ukulele is that you're going to need a good quality tuner. A lot of times people make the mistake of buying just the cheapest one that they can find on Amazon and sometimes the quality really counts on those types of products. I purchased one like that for six dollars and it worked okay, but when you're really starting and beginning to learn ukulele, it's really important that your ukulele be in perfect tune so that your ears can get used to hearing how it's supposed to sound. So this one that I have here is made by Snark, and um, I think it was around uh, $12, $15, so still very inexpensive, but it's really reliable. The um, dial doesn't jump around while I'm trying to tune like the inexpensive one that I had did. And um, I really like this one. And I'll, of course, put a link below so you guys can find that one. And um, another option that you have that I think is a good way to go if you don't want to purchase an electric tuner, it's a free option, which is on the Kala app. I'll put a little video clip um, that shows how to use this, but it basically works by um, you select the string that you're wanting to tune, and when you pluck the string, the app recognizes the tone of it and will tell you if you need to go up or down with your tuning keys. And when you do that, it'll t as you do that, it'll tell you whether you're in tune or not for that one. And then you move on to your next string. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the free Kala app that has the tuner that I like. Um, it's very accurate and really easy to use. I've actually tuned with this app and then used my electric tuner to see if... Um, they were in tune with each other, pun intended, and um, it's very accurate. So what you do first is you select the string that you want to tune. I'm select, I have the G selected because it's yellow. And then you strum that string. And as you can see, it says too low. So you start turning your tuning key. And now it's in tune. And then I want to do the next string, the C's flashing. So I'll select it and strum or pluck because it's too high. Okay, then the E string. Perfect. The third thing that you're going to need to start learning to play the ukulele is some actual chords or music to start learning. So here's some example examples of some song music that I have and that I've purchased to learn. Something else that's very popular is this book here. It's called The Daily Ukulele. And that's actually uh, one of the first things I purchased when I got my ukulele. I ordered this book immediately. Um, it was a little bit too advanced for me at the time. Um, so 
the method that I used to learn was I resorted to finding a, an actual song that I wanted to play in a tutorial on YouTube so that I could have someone that could walk me through that and show me the chords and I also made sure that it had really easy chords and it did it had four beginner easy chords and that was the song One Day by Matis Yahoo and I'll put a link to the description right here so that you guys can go check that tutorial out and um, that's what kept me motivated um, when times were really hard when I first started learning to play because it can be very frustrating so the first thing that you're going to need that's a, a personal thing that can't be bought is you're going to need to have a good attitude because when you're learning something new it can often be frustrating and not very fun like you thought it would be when it doesn't come as easy as you thought. So during the process there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and you're just going to have to know that it will get better if you keep practicing every day and keep a good attitude and just don't worry about how it sounds at the time just know you're getting better with every minute that you practice. Say, I just can't play an instrument. I'm not meant to play an instrument. I should just play an iPod. The second personal thing that I think you're gonna have to utilize is time. A lot of people don't know how to manage their time or they just don't give enough time to learning the ukulele. And for me, it was something I had to commit to every single day. I knew that I was gonna need to play or I wanted to play an hour every single day so I actually set out a block of time and I would have a timer that would go off on my phone and it would say time to play ukulele so for that hour I would definitely sit there turn off the TV turn off the phone and make sure that I dedicated a straight hour to learning something new or practicing you know what I did the day before and sometimes I wouldn't see any progress and then the next day Sometimes it would be like I was worse than I was the day before, but every day you're learning, you're gaining muscle memory, and that's just what it takes, time and time every day so that you can consistently get better. The last personal thing that I think will help you learn ukulele will be to actually set a hard goal. And by this I mean if you want to learn just chords first, then maybe you'll set a goal to learn three beginner chords and practice those every day for three days. So. I would go and I would write those down on a piece of paper and I would say, you know, Monday through Wednesday, I'm going to practice this, the C chord, the F chord, and the G chord. And maybe your goal, like mine, that was a little bit too boring for me. I wanted to reach for something a little bit harder, so I chose a song that I liked first that I really loved and that I knew I would be committed to playing. And that was One Day by Matis Yahoo. And once I saw that it did have easy chords, it was a little hard for me, but you know, I just kept at it because I love the song so much. And uh, that was the goal that I had was to learn to play that song. And in doing that, I ended up learning four chords and a new strumming pattern. So the next things that I'm going to talk about are just optional items that aren't really necessary to start learning to play ukulele. They just make it more convenient and a little bit more fun. The first thing I'd like to talk about for the optional items is this ukulele stand here. It's made by Stag, and here it is. It folds up really nicely too. I'll show you that after I use it. But I got this for Christmas one year, and it's really great for if you're playing ukulele on your couch, or I play at my computer so that I can look at chords and stuff on the internet. Um, but yep, it's just nice when you need to get up, fix yourself a glass of tea, or do anything. It's just nice to be able to sit your ukulele there so it can't get knocked over. The stand is also really good for keeping your ukulele on when you're not using it so that when you see it in passing it reminds you that you need to practice that day. So the stag is really heavy duty and it just folds here in the center and these actually come up as well. Another optional item that I find very useful is a strap. This is so that I can play my ukulele while I'm standing. And for some people with sopranos, they're able to just hold it with their arm and play. But that can be really hard for some people, especially depending on the size of your ukulele. So this strap works um, with this little plastic hook here. And you take it and you loop it into the sound hole on your ukulele and then it just hangs there and the pressure of course if you were to let go it would fall forward so you still you still have to secure it some but it takes the weight off
believe it or not, it's a lot different standing and playing ukulele than it is sitting and playing ukulele. I uh, learned sitting and then one day decided I was going to stand and try to play that song that I was learning and I realized I couldn't do it. It's something with the position that you're holding the ukulele when you're sitting versus when you're standing. It just didn't even feel the same. So I suggest getting a strap or some ukuleles actually come um, equipped with a button so that you can put uh, a guitar type strap on it. None of mine have that and I like to keep mine as original as possible so um, they also make these kits where you can um, have a professional drill into your ukulele if you wanted to put a strap on there. I think they look really great if I ever get a ukulele that already has that. I'll really like it but I don't want to drill into the ones that I have now. Okay something else that is on my optionals list although I think it may be more um, necessary is a music stand. Um, this one is a Manhasset and it's really heavy duty. It doesn't collapse. You can uh, move the stand up and down for sitting and standing. But um, this stand I actually purchased used um, because it had this scratch here on the top because um, these are really high quality um, stands and they're not really cheap but this made a huge difference in my learning because I was always struggling with holding my music on a table and trying to look down or um, on my lap or my cat sitting on that. So it, it was terrible at times. So this really changed everything for me. I was able to display the music looking up and um, it just really made a difference. And while I'm here talking about that, this music stand here is a uh, hanger that you can also purchase. Um, this is really cool if you don't have a stand like I showed you earlier because um, this one can be used to hang your ukulele on. Let me grab it. And you just hang it like this. So that comes in handy also. So this is another type of music stand that I have. This is one that I like to take um, when I go to jams. Um, and I'm not going to be holding anything heavy because they don't hold as much weight as the first one that I showed you. But um, I'll just put it together really quick so you can see how easy it is. This is really good for um, when you have just a few sheets of paper. So here's this part. And it can be adjusted for different heights as well. Okay. Sometimes it's better just to pick it, make, do it upside down and let gravity do the work. So here it is put together. We'll be able to see it when I put it on the ground. The other thing that would be optional that makes playing ukulele just a little bit more fun and convenient is a ukulele case. So if you're going to be traveling and going to ukulele jams, which I think you should, or going to your lessons, or going to the beach or to the park to play, um, you're going to need a case to transport your ukulele in. And um, these are ones that uh, I got off Amazon except for this Ortega one. It came with my uh, Ortega concert that I typically play. But the other two um, are really cute and really fun to pick out on Amazon. And also local music stores usually have a good selection. But um, if you're looking for something specific, then it's really cool to go on Amazon and find what suits your personality. Okay guys, that was my list of the bare necessity slash essential things that you need to start learning to play the ukulele. I hope this helped you. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll put all the links um, to all the products that I talked about today in the description box so that you can go check those out as well. And thanks so much for watching and happy strumming. Bye. Look for the bare